and welcome back to Day Night Gaming. In the last part, we just got to Chazodia, got past Mother Brain, and in this part, we are still exploring Chazodia, trying to find our way out. And blow shit up. For real this time, though. Well, now Sam has, 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 he's, he, he's on a vendetta, or she's on a mission to explode this planet. You know, it's her own planet. Yeah. <laughs> After the part where you got caught. And he, oh, yeah, and my stealth, said, my stealth wasn't working. My stealth was broken. You need to channel the... You have to channel the power of Snake. <laughs> Actually, kind of funny, because um, if you... Well, if you play Smash Brothers Brawl, there's actually hidden codec calls, you know, in case anyone doesn't know about this, where you can see Snake interact with each character, and um, when he interacts with Samus, he talks about how hot she is. <laughs> Jesus, seriously? I mean, that, I mean, okay, I was about to say, if it really well, did come without noticing... <laughs> he looked like he was about to do it for a second. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I was like, you know, what? what, what I think you know, it was, was worth a try. He kind of stood there and looked at you like, did you really think that was going to work? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's trying to go up your hand to stupidity there. <laughs> <laughs> he's just looking at them like, huh, it's a very nice wall. Would oh, you... wait a minute. Oh, yeah, what was it here for? So, yeah, um, I cut out about two and a half minutes of footage of me failing. I fell quite a bit, because <laughs> okay, so I lose my patience. You're going through correctly now, right? What's that? This is the point where you're just no failure, right? Uh, I'm, that's subjective. <laughs> okay, no dying. I don't, I don't that? like the way that sounds. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a maybe. I, I'm gonna take okay, that. Well, at least you didn't get... And look at this guy. What is he doing there? <laughs> Just running back and forth. <laughs> this is my hidey hole. <laughs> <laughs> you find your own. It's like, oh wait, there's an intruder. Jim intruder. <laughs> no, my hidey spot. So why don't we talk about this kick-ass decor that's going on in the backgrounds with the Chozo statues and birds? Yeah. Lots and lots of birds. The birds are chosen, what? <laughs> yeah. So Chozo yeah. actually get a bunch of their lore developed in a Metroid Prime, but I'm not sure how much of that is canon. <laughs> well, you get to it. Like, <laughs> oh, but it works this time though. <laughs> yeah, that would have worked the first time too, but I didn't think about it. I accidentally shot it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and as you can see there, that was a dick move. It was trying to get me to get trapped. Yeah. Now, I never did get catched by by this, and I was surprised when I first played it, but I'm assuming that counts as a stoplight, this, or a, a spotlight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I figure. Now, watch out for your toes. If you stay there, when it goes down, you can actually get caught if you sees your toes. I guess it's a good attention to detail there, and it's pretty... And it looks like I'm kind of screwed here. Or not. <laughs> or not! Aha. Uh -huh. you, you just have to be kept in suspense if I'm going to fail or not. You never know. <laughs> I would rather the answer just be no. But go to the left. Okay, I was about to say go to the left. Oh, I see what I see. What <laughs> yeah. So not only are they spotlights, they also are laser beam eyes. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're running back and forth in circles. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Which way should go? Which way should go? Which way should go? They don't. I, I'm gonna assume and they don't really guy, know how to leave. This asshole. Jesus, this one specifically. <sighs> no, actually, what I think it was is because your hair wasn't in the shadow. This guy is persistent. You see, I'm hidden here. Oh. He goes there, comes back around. <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another trick. Once you actually hit them with their stun, with your stun laser, in case you didn't cast out already. You can walk through them. You remove their head box. Oh my god! Yeah, he does not want to leave me alone. He wants some of that hot blonde Chazodian action. As you can see here, the shadow's right there. It's, you know, he psychs me out. The shadow's right there. You think you're hidden, but nope. <laughs> oh hi! You see? <laughs> <laughs> if you would have just, I don't know. Maybe if you would just ran. No, because the music stopped, but the music stopped when he was right there looking at me. There was nothing I could have done there. Wow. Well, you yeah. could have gone to the left. No, I couldn't have, because he was looking at me. 
No, but I mean, you could have shot it and it just kept going and see if that would have led to something. As you can okay. see, I get stuck in the same spot, same spot with the same asshole. <laughs> Let's call him Patrick. He usually goes where Patrick's are assholes. Okay, oh, yeah, you could just shot at yourself and kept going. I told I you! And now he gives up. Uh, this is just running around in circles the game right now. <laughs> Don't tell me to walk around and answer. I'll stop. Yeah, but I didn't know that left that left wall was breakable. I didn't know that would actually help me out the first time. Well, I mean, for me, it, I have I've only played this game once, and it seems obvious to me. Hmm. So as you can see, we get a little glimpse of our power bomb, and now it's gone. What a troll moment! Nope. Well, I mean, how would have you? How would you have used it? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so what these stations actually do is they recharge your health at first, and then they give you the option to save or not. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you actually don't get penalized for saving the game or not. So, I mean, I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't save, but... I don't know, maybe for those really intense speedrunners, but in that case, you wouldn't be looking at the save room. Oh, that's why, because that dude took it. Yeah, that I asshole. Love how that same, that, I bet you that's the same time. asshole. I bet you that's Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick. Or what's the douchebag name? Like, what's the name that you know, like, you want to run to this person? Mac. There you go. Whenever someone's called Mac, you know that guy's going to be a douchebag. Okay, no, <laughs> actually, for me, the name that comes to mind when it comes to the biggest jerk ever, it has to easily be Frank. Frank is a pretty douchebag name. <laughs> <laughs> we apologize for anybody named Patrick, Mac, or Frank. Although not really, because you're probably a douchebag. <laughs> okay, then, deal. <laughs> no, I'm just I, kidding. I had this supervisor back when at my first job that was the biggest jerk to me. And I I wanted to seriously punch him in the face, but now, there was no need for that like, violence. Oh, but did you enjoy the fact that you know Frank was sitting there waiting for me in the hidden? <laughs> 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 you know, he he rallied with Patrick and Mac. <laughs> he knew. Okay, we'll go here. Okay, we'll be right I'll here at a site. But that was kind of a douchebag move. Like, he was literally sitting there out of sight. Walking to the room, immediately caught. And look, now it's nice. all three. <laughs> Frank, Mac, and Patrick. It's a trifecta. Yeah, but go on with your story. You know, douchebag manager. Uh, well, okay, at the very end of it all and everything, you know, I quit. But I remember, uh... I, I went back for my final paycheck. The last, uh... A friend of mine who worked there... Uh, after you know, before uh, that place that I worked at closed down and everything, uh, he told me that um, he told me that like you know, he told me that he told Frank that I left, and he said, "Oh man, I'm sad now because you know my good my good friend is left now." I was like, "Good friend, what?" My good <laughs> friend, who I never had conversations with or anything like that. So I guess I guess he's like the Cartman of the workplace. You know, everyone had that had that one friend growing up that you couldn't get rid of. You know, friend with parentheses. <laughs> it was like a douchebag. <laughs> His name was probably Frank, Patrick, oh. or Mac. <laughs> now we know. Oh my, no. You're going to die again, aren't you? I don't know. Am I? Yep. You said you were... At that point, I gave up. I gave up. I'm like, there's no way I was going to get out of that situation. I tried all my options. Frozen. All right. Touch. Me. Do it! So yeah, about four and a half minutes and one death later, I'm back at square one. Caught again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. The thing was, all you have to do is shoot that one block out in front of you. Dropped all the platforms. Okay, wait, I heard the music actually die down for a second there. I can't help but think that if you wait another second, you actually would have probably, uh... Yeah, she would have been in the clear. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. If it stands the butt for candies and nuts, then the world would be happy. I'm still caught. Yeah. Whatever you said. <laughs> we'll go with it. Shoot the planet. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the attention fan of a squirrel. Oh my god. <laughs> Some of these people are just jackasses. 
<laughs> E-tards. I'm telling you, dude, they must have trained with the genome soldiers. So, yeah, we got some more water, some more, you know, hieroglyphs, and our boss. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no, I have no idea what the fuck is going on the first time I played this game. <laughs> so now we got the big bad baddie known as God of War. Now, yes. um, yeah, random. Are you so? What? <laughs> so, randomly, it's a little backstory on this guy. This guy is supposed to be who trains all the Chozodians in their ways, and I believe that they have to train under him in order to get their armor. Like, the Samus' armor, her suit is like Chozodian battle armor. Something to that effect. Okay. So, this guy... Oh, it's literally called... Oh. Yeah, it's Kratos. I don't... I don't what happened? <laughs> yeah, I see, the, I see the resemblance. So, okay. This one might be a little confusing at first, because I know I definitely beat him the first time I played this game and didn't know exactly what I did. So, uh, what you gotta do is... Well, I forgot. <laughs> no, you gotta wait until the, you gotta wait until the simple shows up and then you gotta shoot it. <laughs> but he'll mimic so your That was percent. a great build up there. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. But you you only have like a second two when there you only have like a window of a second or two to actually attack it, and if you miss, then you're almost certainly gonna get hit and get rocked. And what you you gotta hit it four times. Right when it shows the insignia, right? Now that's what you're supposed to do. But what most people do is just run on the circles and shoot it randomly, and then get struck again by it. I remember How my first playthrough. Hmm. How exactly does this test you? I don't understand. It's just. You know, he's dancing. As and you can see there, he only gave me like a split second window there. Except our tests. Oh. Ouch. Yeah. There's a lot of death in this game. Yeah, I told you, I was losing my patience at this point. I was just ready to, to finally finish it. Yes. Alright, take two. Oh, I'm sorry. We Actually, I, I probably missed my chance. Cut, cut, cut. So, uh, we got God of War again, and yay. Yes, 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 fight yourself. Do your best. Yeah, I suppose you just gotta fight herself. Family? I don't know. <laughs> but not much else to say about this. I mean, I suppose it's supposed to be like a spirit that, like, shows you your inner self, and you gotta fight yourself. Something to that effect. But we don't really figure out anything about her until... Other M and let's not talk about that. Well, well the funny it. thing is, like, they have like these stories, these little anime stories in the background, but they kind of like make it to where you got to fill in the dots. Like oh, what's happening it's here? Ambiguous. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I, I believe I got the God of War story like from the backstory from like the comic books. It's based on the comic books, which I suppose are supposed to be common manga, ah, canon. And um, I suppose it's the timeline that this game takes, or the storyline this game takes. I see. And now we've got our suit and all the those power-ups that we got before. Had. The world will know damage. <laughs> <laughs> you will know. Wait, gravity. Stop yeah. lava damage. Oh, that's lava. Oh, so you, you took damage from acid and took... Or you didn't take damage from acid, but you did from lava. But now you're lava resistant. Yeah. yeah. Um, green alien unknown device that made weird noises made you break the game. Because now everything <laughs> is going to get this shit off. Yeah. So now we get you our have... plasma bean, which rapes. As you can tell, Jesus, look at that. One hit KOs. And so now Patrick, Frank, and Mac are all quite, <laughs> Dude. quite afraid. And so, okay, some effects about the gravity suit. What the gravity suit does is obviously allows you to go through water, like without um, taking the effects, taking the water drag into effect or into account. And it also halves your damage that you would have taken with the various suit, if I'm not mistaken. The plasma yep. beam basically doubles your attack and rapes everything. And uh, the space jump allows you to, to jump continuously, uh, like a so. And the way you do it is you gotta wait till you actually start going down on your jump arc, and then you can jump again. 
yeah, it's very rhythm based. But once you get once you get to hang it at first, it's easy to really do. Yeah, and if you want to beat Metroid Two, you got to really kind of get used to that because the game's pretty dependent on space jump in certain sections. Oh, there now you, you can see the lava is not affecting us. We also get immunity. Damn it! Just said, damn it! Fuck it! I'll just go ahead and eat damn tomato soup. She's like, lava can't hurt me because I'm fabulous. Uh, although she's a girl, so she can get away with the purple. <laughs> like, what's wrong with being fabulous? <laughs> yeah, but um, I mean, this is a cool little this is a cool little effect. The fact that Samus is so overpowered, and now you get to see her rape everything that like was hurting her before. But um, I kind of help, can't help but wish that I that they would have added some more to the original game. Like, to the original map, like, maybe giving you the ability to go back and, like, you know, maybe add some new areas in the lava and in the water. Just perfect. Yeah, so. maybe add an extra boss or two, I guess, is what you're saying, right? Well, besides that boss, we're going to be facing soon, or the yeah. boss. Yeah, well, not just that, like, did, to be able to explore, to get that sense, to be able to get explore the original map again would be kind of cool. Maybe adding an area like Meridia would be kind of fun, because in Sewer Metroid, well, we'll get to that later, when we get to Sewer Metroid, but in Sewer Metroid... Yeah, the left um, wall. No, go back. Ah, what? I guarantee. You, I bet you the left side of that wall there probably had the secret. That's just me just being a kleptomaniac for no reason. But go on, though. Well, it's I really suppose called. you're the one who's going to play the rest of Metro games from here on out. As much as you're criticizing my playthroughs, <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it. You can do it yourself. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, uh, it was easy like that. <laughs> go on, go on. Yeah, like I was saying, in the original Super Metroid, um, it seems like you'd explored the whole map, and you basically got a, a whole feel for map, but a good half of it is Meridia, which is actually hidden within the water and into that. I think something like that would have been cool in this game. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.